everyone welcome to my youtube channel love for intuitive astrology today as promised i will talk about the ascendant signs uh, or also called the rising sign for each and every single sign I will also talk about the life purpose lessons of each of the signs and also um, the connections with the planets and how does it work. So stay tuned. I'm going to explain everything the best I can so you know a little bit more about yourself. So yeah, the Ascendant is basically defined by your date of birth, your time of birth and your place of birth. So this is where, which zodiac sign was ascending on the eastern horizon on a specific degree, which defines basically the jacket that you are wearing into this world. So, you know, we all, most of us know our sun sign, right? According to our date of birth. So the sun sign is defining who we are and what we want to achieve. And then we have the moon sign, what is kind of defining what we need and our emotions. How do we deal with emotions? And then the ascendant is like, how does the world perceive us? You know, how are we seen by the world? What kind of eyes do we look to uh, when, when we look at the world? So the ascendant sign is the first thing, the first impression you're giving on people. But then when they get to know you a little bit better, they will see the different planets, the different qualities that you're having. So, you know, your sun sign will come out, your moon sign. But, you know, so if you don't know a lot about astrology, you can know a lot already just by your sun sign, your moon sign and your rising sign. So let me know in the comments below if besides the rising signs, you would also like me to explain more about the moon signs and the sun signs. Uh, so I know a little bit better which videos to make for you and don't forget I also give private readings so you can always book a private reading with me. You can find my email in the description box below. So yeah, the ascendant sign, it's a very interesting uh, concept and it's, it's describing a lot about how... Uh, how you're kind of reacting to people at first. Um, so, and then it's really defined. So you have to look at your sign and each sign rules is ruled by a planet, right? So this also defines your ascendant and then the connections with other planets. So you have, if you have a trine, so for example, if you have Mars trine your ascendant. That means you're quite, you know, optimistic, you're, um, you're athletic, you're energetic, like people see you as, you know, a go-getter. So it's really smooth. It, it runs together really well. But if you, for example, have a square, so let's say ascendant square Mars, that would mean that, you know, you're a little bit more defensive, you're a little bit more aggressive. Uh, and, and with a square, you always go into one or another ex extreme. Sorry, I'm filming this during Mercury retrograde. So excuse me if my words are not coming out as, as smooth as usual, as usual. <laughs> but yeah, so you need a little bit more lessons to understand how to use this Mars uh, as, as, as the best possible. Or if you have Venus, for example, people who have ascendant conjunct Venus, they have this very charming vibe around them. You know, they're very charming and very loving and people, you know, it also has to do with beauty. So they come across as very beautiful. But if you have someone who has a square, they're usually quite oblivious to their beauty. So they're e either using it too much to get what they want or they're shying away from their own beauty and they haven't accepted their own beauty. So these are very interesting uh, observations when it comes to astrology, right? So if you have Saturn, for example, a connection with Saturn, you might come across as very responsible. So the smooth um, connections like the sextiles or the trines, they make you have like this responsible, 
uh, vibe, you know, this very grown up vibe. Even if you're younger, you come across as very grown up. But then if you have a square, it could be that you come across as a little bit too cold or, um, you know, you're overly responsible and overly serious or you're holding back, you know? So what, what are the connections in your, um, in your chart and how this reflects on your personality, right? So the conjunctions, when you look at, for example, Saturn conjunct the Ascendant, you carry this responsibility because this is the first thing you're showing to the world, right? So you come across as really responsible, but also the Ascendant usually is how you come into this world. So if you have Saturn or Pluto on the Ascendant, a lot of times um, there is some family karma involved as well. That way it's heavy on you. Or there was a difficult birth. I made a video about Pluto conjunct the Ascendant. You should check it out if you have that. It's also a very karmic um, aspect that, you know, it, it creates this very... Um, almost heavy personality but that people are a little bit shocked right because Pluto rules Scorpio so how you come across could be quite uh, intense and you have to learn how to deal with this intensity so there's the different planets project different things and then we have Neptune for example if we look at Neptune Neptune is very dreamy uh, so people find you quite mysterious they cannot really grasp your personality it makes you very interesting and charming and very spiritual but also this is a placement where a lot of times people want to hide from the world and this comes with addictions so the planets that are connected to your ascendant and especially conjunctions are telling you a lot about your family patterns as well. So pay attention to that. Um, I just named a few examples, but you know, like I said, you can book a private reading if you want to know more about what does this mean in your private chart, because the ascendant just describes how you come across um, the entrance of your personality, you, the entrance, how you came into this world and how you perceive the world. So, and how the world perceives you. So, um, yeah, let's start with all the signs. So let's start with the sign of Aries. So if we look at the sign Aries, it's a very go getting, uh, sign right so people perceive you as very forwarding very uh leading you want to lead the group you're a little bit impulsive as well right so because you want to go straight into things so people perceive you as a little bit pushy sometimes but at the same time you are here to explore these leadership qualities within you uh, you're here to to lead the group, to not be afraid to get out there and to show your personality, right? So a lot of times you will see an Aries Ascendant wearing red. If you're not wearing red, this is a really good color that really refines you. Um, very often they have muscular uh, bodies because they're very athletic, right? So Aries is ruled by Mars. So these are very uh, athletic people or if not athletic, they're very, they have this really leadership qualities. And once again, you have to also look at your sun sign and your other planets that are defining more about your personality. But in general, uh, the Aries Ascendant is very forwarding. They know what they want and they can lead a group, right? They're very like, I know what to do. Follow me. I know I have this this uh, inner power, this God feeling like, where do we need to go? What do we need to do? So they would be great like personal trainers they would be great leaders and it's really in this lifetime you're really um known to be a leader and to be independent and to lead um obviously your the descendant is libra so you're really attracted to someone that is very giving and that balances out these leadership qualities into equality so this is very interesting as well, right? I will make a video about it 
uh, as well about the descendants uh, so you know a little bit more about that so this is related to Aries and then we have Taurus so Taurus is a steady slow moving sign so this is how you can be perceived you're slow moving you're steady uh, but once you're set onto something you go for it and Taurus is ruled by Venus so people might perceive you as very pleasant very beautiful um, you really like the refined things in life so you might dress like someone that maybe branded clothes or very beautiful clothes that uh, really make you stand out you know like girls will take care of their hair will take care of their makeup they want to look nice and guys also want to look very uh, refined and usually a Taurus uh, ascendant they're either quite muscular so they have a muscular body or they could be having a, a voluptuous, voluptuous bodies how do you say it correctly uh, yeah more um, you know the women have a very fertile kind of body beautiful shapes uh, they have this very sensual touch to their look right and uh, the guys as well are very sensual very uh, they are kind of like big bigger built like either very muscular or a little bit bigger but like in a sensual way um, and they they come across as very solid know where they want to go know what they want to do but it takes time before this decision is coming out right uh, they enjoy the good things in life good food uh, they enjoy luxury they enjoy having a solid life and of course it also depends on your moon sign and your sun sign and your other planets but in general this is what um, Taurus is standing for as an ascendant and uh, their life purpose really evolves around uh, materialism and how to build these solid lives for themselves and um, yeah to build what they have in mind for themselves and this is the Taurus Ascendant so uh, let's move on then to Gemini so when we look at Gemini you have to deal with someone that knows how to adjust to different situations so a Gemini is ruled by Mercury so they're very curious they want to know everything every single situation they want to know more they want to know about people and you know like they are not solid in the way of being they can adjust to different situations different people they could talk about everything they have endless curiosity and also they could have more than one hobby more than one job they get bored quite easily <laughs> and really their lesson evolves around um, obtaining their own perspective of the world through different sources through different uh yeah perspectives they want to see the side of everything so a lot of people say gemini is two-faced or they have different personalities but this is because they want to understand all the perspectives out there you know they want to see uh they don't want to make a decision without knowing all the sides of the story and they want to they want to know what it's like to to wear these different faces to wear these different masks and it's nothing unreal about it it's all real it's part of their journey part of understanding uh yeah you want to understand what it is to to feel different ways and to be different ways so this endless curiosity makes you really fun to be with you come across as very chatty very social and yeah you really want to be in you're really seen in groups as funny and smart very intelligent and the funny thing is you even though you like to talk um talking in front of a big crowd uh, makes you a little bit uncomfortable if you have this let me know write in the comments if this relates to you um so yeah this is about all about the gemini ascendant 
And then we go to Cancer. So Cancer is really a, a nurturing sign, right? So they come across as very nurturing, very smooth, very soft, uh, but also a little bit closed off, a little bit shy. You not really know where you're standing with a Cancer Ascendant because they're kind of protecting their emotions. Um, they're really out there to help people and they want to soothe people around them. Uh, the life lesson or the purpose of the Cancer Ascendant is really that um, they want to, they need to help people without uh, the cost of themselves, right? So they need to feel the air and they have this kind of this mother quality. So even if you're a guy, don't worry. <laughs> but it's like you're this leading type that can make people very comfortable. So it's a feminine leadership energy but even if you're a guy you can still have these qualities you know you can be very masculine and have these qualities it's just that you're really soothing to people and people like to be around you um you're not the one that's you're kind of waiting the crowd right you're kind of observing and then you want to make a steady friendships or a steady life um yeah, with someone or with your friends, you know, you really want to have something long term. And as you know, cancer is ruled by the moon emotions. So you can also be a little bit moody, uh, have a little bit of mood swings. But, you know, being by yourself and recharging will really help you and will really uh, do a lot for you. And with cancer, cancer ascendants, they want to be around water as well. And they can have this like kind of watery... Uh, eyes or they have this this kind of like this dreamy vibe not as much as a Pisces ascendant but they definitely have this this charm that it's very beautiful and very handsome or beautiful uh, people want to be around you because they just feel very comfortable around you so that's the Cancer ascendant and uh, then we have Leo so we cannot go around a Leo ascendant. They're ruled by the sun. So they have this glow. There's this glow on their face. Like they come into a room and people immediately notice they are there. It's very often they have uh, bigger hair or they, they have these very like shiny features. And it's very hard to go around them. So the lesson or the purpose of a Leo ascendant is really about... Um, you don't need to be admired to receive love. You have to find your own self-love and then people will actually, you will get what you want because people cannot go around you. But if you do not love yourself, you're not always getting the reaction that you wish out of people. So instead of going outward, you have to go inward. And a Leo Ascendant has very leadership qualities and they're very loyal. So they're really out there in the sense of they know how to lead and they know how to be optimistic and be the sunshine in a group. Like they're really funny and they're, you know, you will feel really good around Leo Ascendants. They're just so optimistic and, and happy. But sometimes from the inside, they don't not always feel that way. You know, they don't always feel that much self-love but from the outside they look so confident they look you know they look very like lion right the leo lion so they're very uh they have this amazing qualities of a leader so this could also be um actors or you know musicians or someone who's okay with being in the spotlight and they they take the spotlight because people like to be around leo ascendants so yeah uh, write a comment below if this resonates with you and uh, yeah this is the leo ascendant so let's move on to the next sign virgo so virgo ascendants are very hard on themselves uh they usually are they love healthy food. They're very critical of their own body. So they really take care of it well. And their life lesson is kind of self-improvement. So they really want to improve themselves. But it shouldn't be at the cost of other people or themselves. You know, that they're being too strict. So um, 
yeah, if you have a Virgo ascendant, you're really helpful. People think you're very soothing. They like to be around you. You love to be of service of other people. You like to help and have a purpose. Like a Virgo ascendant without a purpose is not happy. <laughs> you want to do something useful, you know? And uh, the best is that people are noticing your your qualities right so sometimes virgo ascendant it's very important that you get out there and you show the world what you are capable of because you're very intelligent you're ruled by mercury so you have a huge intellect you know how to solve problems and you know you're often a problem solver in the group and people see you as someone very analytical they see you as uh, they, they, they come to you for advice. They know, uh, they know that you know how to help people, right? Or how to be of support. So this is mainly uh, everything about Virgo Ascendant. And they have this very charming, like kind of cute vibe. And um, they might also be quite young looking. So this is different for all the Virgo Ascendants, of course, but they have this kind of youthful vibe. And this is the same as Gemini Ascendant because you're both ruled by Mercury, uh, which is kind of a witty, fun, like planet that gives like a young glow. So, um, and then we have the Libra uh, Ascendant and Libra is ruled by Venus, just like Taurus. And they're very charming. They're very, um, they have this charm. It's like a cute charm that uh, draws a lot of people in. And this is good because Libra Ascendant really wants to experience relationships. This is how they define themselves. So they look around and relate to other people. And by relating to other people, they kind of understand themselves better. Um, so no wonder they're attracted to areas with more self-focus. So you balance each other out, right? So Libra Ascendant is really about the skills. You might have a little bit of issues uh, making choices. <laughs> Sometimes making choices is a little bit difficult for a Libra Ascendant. Uh, but you could be very artistic and um, you have very refined features and you like, uh, especially uh, well, females, they like to have beautiful makeup and men just like to dress really nicely and to impress and they're very diplomatic. So they have this soft touch that to the outside world is very soothing and you know how to be this kind of mediator. That's how you know you're often in in jobs or in situations where you like you're the suitor of a group right so yeah very pleasant to be around so yeah your purpose is definitely not losing yourself in relationships right so there needs to be a limit to relating to other people not at the cost of yourself so it is finding balance even though in relationships uh finding balance with yourself and um, yeah, making the right decisions in life. So this is for Libra. Let's move on to Scorpio. So a Scorpio Ascendant, they're quite intense. So you can definitely tell when a Scorpio Ascendant is walking into the room. They have this very uh, mysterious uh, kind of sexual vibe that makes people sometimes a little bit awkward. It's like quite intense so people are like okay wow so instantly someone is either very attracted to a scorpio ascendant or it's like an instant repellent because they feel this power it's ruled by pluto so they feel this power that they they have and they feel like yeah other people feel a little bit intimidated but others are like wow this is mysterious i want to know more i want to know more about this person this person is very interesting right so um your soul lesson uh is quite tough uh it is not an easy ascendant to be born with so uh, a scorpio ascendant really has to go through like uh, cycles you know like dead rebirth and then rising from the ashes like a phoenix because 
it rules the eighth house right and th this is all about cycles of life so you will go through different cycles and you have to learn how to forgive people that not always nice to you and you have to forgive yourself for not always being nice to people either because you got this type of power that you know how to manipulate people but at the same time, this power you can use for the good. So it's really up to you how you use this power. So maybe when you're younger, you have more of a jealousy and these kind of things. And when you're older, you're really using it to help others and you become very straightforward and solid and you, you know, very honest and light. Uh, I have a Scorpio ascendant myself, so I'm, I'm talking from experience that you have a very regenerative spirit. You can help a lot of people grow. So yeah, and you're a very, you have a little bit of a intimidating sexual vibe that draws people in. So my recommendation is use, <clears throat> sorry, use this power for the good, use it to help people and you'll get really far so yeah this is for scorpio ascendant let's move on to sagittarius ascendant i love the vibe of sagittarius ascendant they're very optimistic you can definitely see this glow it's a little bit like leo but it's different vibe i feel sagittarius is very optimistic funny and you know their purpose is surrounded by relying on kind of luck so they're really these people that just do something and then it goes just well because <laughs> you're ruled by jupiter right but however being ruled by jupiter could also mean that uh, you have to watch your weight a little bit because it's all about expansion so you will perceive a lot of luck when it comes to learning traveling you're a very good teacher people love listening to you you like this adventure of going out there getting to know people that's why you're such a good match with gemini you're really like you're getting out there together explore the world and um yeah sagittarius you this this rising sign really wants to know all about spirituality or philosophy culture want to know more about the world you're definitely a, not a small perspective person you're really all about big perspectives and uh yeah what is the world about you're not about the small details you're really about uh seeing the bigger picture and that's where you what you want to focus on so a very optimistic person that people love being around you're a bit jolly you're funny people want to be around you because you have a lot of humor i mean it all depends of course on the rest of of the planets that you have but in general sagittarius rising is very pleasant to be around so yeah that's what's for sagittarius and then we move on to capricorn so a capricorn uh is immediately noticed they have this very uh vibe of responsibility so they're very like mature this is a very old soul type of person that you know knows what it what it means to have responsibility so you're ruled by saturn and the funny thing is is that capricorn ascendant is is becoming more youthful with age so you're the, the one of the few signs that like starts very mature and then becomes looser and looser and better with age so because saturn is a hard working planet so this is the planet of karma so when you're born you have a sense of duty responsibility and when you you've given and paid off this kind of this karmic debt of responsibility because very often uh you 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 have like the world is throwing you stuff on your shoulders and you're like why me why should i do that but then when you the hard work paid off you become younger you become more youthful you become pleasant and people come to you for advice you're a great advisor like you're a leader you know you're very much like authority like you're this presence that people are like wow okay i'm i'm not gonna go against this person i really trust what they're saying and you definitely know what you're saying because when you say what when you speak you've thought it through and you know what you're talking about because you're the sign that knows how to work hard for what they want so you're 
perceived as like very mature and people feel like kind of like a father figure so you know it's like the same as the opposite uh, sign of cancer when i said it has like this leading motherly vibe this is a leading fatherly vibe so even if you're a woman you have these qualities of the masculine energy that's very leading very forwarding people trust what you're saying you have this this shape of authority so yeah your life lesson, uh, Capricorn Ascendant, is really all about knowing how to carry this responsibility and leading and becoming authority and being confident about the authority that you are and to feel adequate about who you are and yourself and to enjoy life as well. So, um, to, you know, know when to be serious, but also know when to have fun. So this is for Capricorn Ascendant. Um, let's move on to Aquarius. So when we look at an Aquarius rising or ascendant, this is someone that's very out there, very funny. You cannot go around them because they have their own style. Like they want to be different because you're ruled by Uranus. This is a very uh, scientific, quirky, out of the box planet. So. Uh, if you look at people with a very different look, right? This could be very much like an Aquarius Ascendant. You like your freedom and you don't like to be stuck to routines. Like, like you want to be kind of free or you want to have a job where you can be freely expressing yourself. So this could either be like investigative or like, like working in a lab. But this could also be someone, I don't know, this could be someone with a very expressive look that tells the world how to be different and being an example like Aquarius is very good with for example as well as social media stuff like that so yeah you're uh, a very inspirational sign and your lesson is that it is okay to be out of you know to be different like you don't need to adjust and conform to the world you can be expressive and beautiful as you are so uh, a lot of Aquarius Ascendant, they have a very um, like smooth, uh, very smooth skin and they have this very, um, they're very beautiful in the, they are different. They have kind of like an alien look, but it's very beautiful. So this is how you kind of can recognize uh, Aquarius Ascendant and they love dressing differently or very stylish or but it, it has to be the way they feel that kind of can rebel right so they kind of can rebel and be different and express themselves so that's very very cool they're the cool people right <laughs> so yeah let's move on to the last sign uh, Pisces so the Pisces Ascendant this is a very dreamy look so they're very charming, very dreamy, very mysterious. Um, they do not really have this solid, uh, it's a bit like Gemini, but then a little bit different. They don't have this really solid uh, exterior in the sense of they know how to adjust to different situations because a Pisces, a everyone feel very soothing. They want everyone to feel good about themselves. They want to... They're ruled by Neptune, right? So they're they are they have insane psychic abilities. They really have this um, healing kind of vibes. And the only thing they have to pay attention to, and this is one of the purposes of Pisces, is that they do not uh, they should not lose themselves uh, into like the world or into like all these emotions because very often they take on emotions from. Uh, other people so they can carry energies from other people without knowing it and then they suddenly feel like a little bit off and they feel like they're drowning into their own emotions and it's not always their emotions but you can recognize them they have this dreamy look like I don't know like they're almost out of this world so they're very yeah I don't know they have this watery dreamy eyes that very like um 
Africa. They're quite mysterious, so people want to know more about them, and it can be very spiritual. Uh, but yeah, they should not give at the cost of themselves. So they really have to. You, if you're a Pisces ascendant, you really should stick to your uh, your inner core and try to find the stability, and only then you can help other people. Um, yeah, so these were all the ascendants. Of course, this is like a, a short overview of all the ascendants. It entails, entails, entails <laughs> my English so much more uh, than you think, right? So this is like a short introduction to the different ascendants. Um, write down below what the if this reflected to you and how this relates to your personality and um also if you would like to me to do more videos like this for example about moon sign or sun sign or whatever other uh connections or transits or stuff you like would like me to discuss i'm happy to to help you so if you like this video um give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel i hope to see you all soon again thank you so much bless you so much a million i love you bye bye